All right, guys, so let's talk about negative numbers and how they are represented. So negative numbers, uh, also known as signed numbers, are numbers that can take on negative values. So it's called signed because it can take on a negative sign as well as a positive sign. And the notation of representing the negative numbers is called two's complement. So let's start off with um, how would we write uh, the number? Let me see if I can get out my pen. Uh, how would you write the number negative uh, 6 in binary? Well, there are two steps. Uh, first step is to first write it out. Uh, write it out positively. And the second step is to, uh, let me just do this in, I guess, yellow. So two, uh, flip all the bits. And the third step is to add 1. So let's take the number uh, negative 6. Let me just pick a different color. Let's do um, green. So let's do negative 6. Let's add this. Let's convert this to sort of its binary representation of negative 6. All right. So uh, we write positive 6 in binary. That is uh, 0. 1, 1, 0, because this is 1, 2, 4, 8, so 4 plus 2 is 6, so this is positive 6 in binary. Uh, second step, uh, we want to flip all of the bits, so let's do this in yellow. So flip, flipping all of them would be uh, this 0 become a 1, this 1 would become a 0, and vice versa, so 0, 0, 1. So this is flip. And then we add one. All right. So adding one to this is one plus one is zero. Carry the one. And then a one goes here. There are nothing. There's nothing else to add. So these drop down. And this is the binary binary number, uh, negative six, in decimal. Right. One zero, one zero, one zero, is negative six, in decimal. So let's talk about why this is. And uh, down here on the bottom left, you can see why this is. So how two's complement encoding works is that it's only the, uh, let me see if I can draw on this. So I can, all right, so. So it's only the leftmost bit, right? This one over here, uh, that has a negative weight. So I highlighted it in red. So this would mean it's negative eight plus two plus, negative two, negative eight plus two is equal to negative six, right? Given a bit with a four. So again, this is the bit with a 4, and we get negative 6. Uh, given a bit width of 6, though, right, it's the same concept. It's only the leftmost bit that uh, gets the negative weight. Uh, if I can just sort of drag these down. right? It's only this 32 that has a negative weight. So it's negative 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 2 is equal to negative six. So this one, 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 zero, one, zero is negative six, uh, given a bit width of six. And likewise for the eight bit width, it's only the leftmost bit that has a negative weight. So negative 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus eight plus two is equal to negative six, right? So these all represent the numbers negative six. And you may notice that uh, this number one zero, one zero, one zero is the same over here. And all we do is really to uh, expand the bit width, if we can, is that we uh, replicate this bit here, right? Uh, we replicate all the ones, but nonetheless, um, the one over here on the leftmost bit is the only one, again, that holds a negative weight. Just, it's really crucial. And that's how two's complement encoding works. And that's how we store negative numbers. So let's do a couple of exercises now. Uh, if you go to uh, decimal, to binary, two's complement, right over here to 0.17, uh, click on it and let's do some. So I'm gonna screenshot this and paste it in. Here we go. Copy, paste, 
All right. Move this up. All right. So I'll uh, take a swing at it before I uh, go over it. In three, two, and one. So negative ten. Uh, given the bit with a five, convert the decimal number negative ten to two's complement binary. So take a swing at it. Um, we'll go over it in three, two, and one. So first, again, write it out uh, positive. So what's positive 10 given a bit with a 5? Well, let's just write down the powers of 2 uh, given a bit with a 5. So it's uh, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And let's go write the number negative. Well, let's write the positive 10. So it's 8 plus 2, and we have 10 already. So the rest of these are 0. So 0, 1, 0, 1. All right, this is first up here. This is uh, positive 10. All right, let's do step two. Flip all of the bits. So this zero becomes a one, this one becomes zero, this zero becomes a one, and vice versa. And then we add one. So let me see if I can just move this down. It's always a little problem moving it down. Add one. So one. Add these, so one plus one is zero. Carry the one. We have a one here. Z one, zero, and one. All right. So one zero one zero one zero one one zero is the uh, answer for this problem, and it, it represents negative ten uh, in binary. So let's punch this in. Uh, let's go over here. So it is one zero one zero one zero one one zero one zero one one zero one zero one one zero. So the input answer must be the same length as the bit with pre paddle zeros and ones. So one, two, three, four, five. So we have enough. And let's check. And we got it right. All right. All right. So another problem. I already pasted in here. You can take a swing at it before I go over it in three, two, and one. All right. So First up again, we got to write uh, negative 58 uh, out in positive, so let's do that. Uh, given a bit width of 8, so let's write down the powers of 2 all the way to the 8th one. So 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 1, 28, and this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, so let's write positive 58. Uh, so there can't be a 0 here because it goes, this is bigger than 58. This is also bigger than 58. We can put a 1 here. So 58 minus 32. Uh, let's see, what is that? Let's get out my calculator. Uh, 58 minus 32 is 26. So we can put a 1 here, so minus 16. So 26 minus 16 is 10. And we could put an 8 and a 2, and that would be 10. So these two would be zeros. And this is the uh, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0 is positive 58 in base 10. All right. So second step, uh, flip all of the bits. Let's do that. So this 0 becomes a 1. This 1 becomes a 0. And vice versa. Okay. And then we add 1. So let me just move this down a little. Whoops, didn't mean to scroll in. So uh, 1 plus 1 is 0. Carry the 1. And 1 drops down here. There is nothing else to add. So this is the binary string for negative 58. And again, uh, just to reiterate this one last time, it's really important. It's really simple. Two's complement binary is really this 128 holds a negative weight. All right? I'll explain that a little later. Uh, but this is negative 128 plus 64 uh, plus 4 plus 2, right? Because there are ones here. Is equal to negative 58. And uh, let me just double check on the calculator just to. 
uh, show you guys that my math is often really bad. So 64 plus 4 plus 2 is negative 58. So hopefully you guys can see that. And we can punch this binary string in. So 110, let me just type it in. 11000110. All right. Copy, paste. Are there eight characters? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we are good. Uh, given a bit width of uh, 8, convert the decimal number negative 44 into this binary. So I will leave the rest to do on your own. And yeah. All right, so now you guys should know by now how to convert a negative decimal number to a uh, the bit pattern that represents it, right? Just follow these three steps here. But uh, there's one interesting uh, sort of uh, problem here. So we know that negative six in uh, uh, represented in binary is one zero one zero, but so is the number positive ten. Let me do this in a different color. So ten is also ten. The number ten in base ten is also uh, one zero. Let me just write this on the left side because that's what I did for you there. Ten is also equal to the pattern one zero one zero in base two. So these two. Uh, share the same bit pattern, but they represent different things. One represents negative uh, 6, and one represents negative 10. And here's the sort of uh, table over here on the left. Uh, so this is the unsigned world. Uh, the unsigned world is where uh, this lives, right? This is where 1010 zero, one zero is equal to the number 10. But in the unsigned world, right, negative 6, uh, 1010 zero, one zero is assigned to the number negative 6. And this shouldn't really be surprising, right? That one bit pattern, right, 1010, one zero, one zero, can mean two things. Because uh, we already have that concept in English. So in English, for example, uh, we have uh, the tree bark, right? It's so the word bark. Uh, let's see, let me do this in purple. The word bark can mean what a tree is made out of. Or it can mean the noise that a dog makes, right? And again, say like sex, for example, uh, is sort of the uh, division in which uh, humans and other living organisms are divided based on their reproductive functions. Or it can mean an activity. So let me just pull out the image of that really quick. So anywho, it shouldn't be surprising that one word can mean multiple things. And likewise, in the world of bits, uh, a bit pattern can mean multiple things, right? So uh, an example, uh, let's say the bit pattern uh, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Right? This bit pattern, right, in base 2, can mean the letter J. Right? This is the ASCII encoding for the letter J. It can mean the number 106. It can mean the number negative 22 in a signed decimal. Uh, it can mean the hexadecimal, des hexadecimal number, D2, in base 16. So again, it shouldn't be surprising that uh, one bit pattern can represent a multitude of things. All right? So you may be wondering, how does the computer tell apart, uh, let's see, uh, this one. Well, let's do the 1010 zero, one zero as 10 and 1010 zero, zero as negative 6, right? How does the computer tell uh, which one is which, right? Because they're effectively the same bit pattern, right, this thing here. Uh, it doesn't. Um, we tell it to by saying or declaring values as unsigned or signed x is equal to, like, I don't know, 0, 5. Actually, it's do the examples. So 10, do this in uh, color 10, and this is negative 6. Right, so in uh, languages like C, um, you can, these are keywords that you would tell uh, in the language uh, how to interpret these bits. In languages like uh, JavaScript or Python or etc., uh, they just used sign numbers by default all the time and the ranges for those are really really high and that's why you never see them but in uh, again in languages like c you actually do have real 
limits, right? You have uh, uh, the really the most smallest one you can get is uh, an eight bits, which can go up to uh, two fifty five for unsigned and uh, one twenty eight to uh, negative one twenty seven. So uh, again, in lower level languages, quote unquote, uh, you will actually see this more in action. But in higher level languages, scripting languages, namely, uh, they're usually obscured. All right. So there are a number of ranges in which uh, when you cast between the worlds of unsigned and signed, that they remain exactly the same. So let me just uh, move this one table down to show what I mean. Let's move this one down right over here. All right, so uh, let me just go up on another layer. All right, so uh, this here, number zero through seven, is where they're sort of in the safe zone. I'll call it the safe zone. Because all the bit patterns represent the same things. So zero, zero, one, one, and zero, one, one here, right? They both represent number three. But when you go over here, all right, I'm going to do it in a different color. Let's do uh, purple. Right, these are the danger zones where um, you can get into pro some issues where you overflow and you sort of uh, get the wrong answer. So if we do six plus, right, this six right here, right, six plus three, one, two, three, six, one, two, three. Here we should get nine, right? So one zero zero one is equal to nine. But uh, if your language allows you to cast it to an unsigned, well, I mean a signed value, right? Uh, so C has a construct to cast values. You just type in two parentheses and type in signed. Uh, this value would now be uh, one zero zero one negative seven. So you can run into scenarios where uh, your arithmetic sort of overflows uh, between signed and unsigned and uh, you will get really strange results, right? Because uh, the problem we were trying to do is 6 plus 3, right? 6 plus 3, 1, 2, 3, should be equal to 9. If we cast to signed, we get negative 7, right? Just something to watch out for. We'll be going into more detail about this in the future. But yeah, uh, that's about it for this one. If you found it useful or if you found anything confusing, please leave some comments below. Uh, so I can help out and improve my content. Uh, but that is about it, and I will catch you in the next one.